When a fire alarm sounds, you must leave the building immediately. Walk calmly to your nearest exit. Do not stop to collect personal belongings. Do not wait for others. Go straight to your designated assembly point. Wait for help to arrive. Fires take hold in a matter of minutes. It's vital you act calmly and quickly. And stay safe at uni. Most fires start in student kitchens when cooking is left unattended. Fireman Dave Tate demonstrates. The pan's actually been ignited as if uh, we've got some oil in the grill pan. We're getting a bit more severe as the heat is starting to pick up plumes of smoke reaching ceiling height now and that's going to spread across the ceiling and the temperature will then start to increase. This type of fire can develop in just a couple of minutes. It's very hot in the compartment now and the smoke level has dropped even further down. It won't be the flames that will be killing you, it will be the smoke and the fumes. Okay we're going to have to withdraw now, this is getting to a dangerous level where we're going to have to get a crew in to extinguish the fire as it's developed beyond control. In your accommodation, you are not only responsible for your own safety, but also for the safety of the people you live with. Here are some simple steps you can take to avoid a fire starting in your accommodation. Okay, so here we are in a typical student's kitchen, and as we look across and we go to the cooker, which is one source of ignition, we can straight away see the tea towel left on top of the cooker. So it's important that these things are not left on cookers, they're placed in a safer environment or in a cupboard. The most common thing that we seem to come across is the grill pan. But you can see it's slowly building up and we do get sometimes where this is an excessive loading of fat there. And if not cleaned, the fat will build up. If it's left unattended, we will then get a fire occurring. The hygiene is not really the issue. The, the issue in fire safety is that there is a build up of a, a source of fuel, which in this case is fat. And once this fat gets to a significant temperature, it will just spontaneously burst into flame. We always hear about the bread being jammed in the toaster, creating smoke. As we said before, the heat detector in the kitchen won't do anything about it. But then as soon as the doors open to the kitchen, out goes the smoke into the corridor and bang, we get an unwanted signal. One of the most serious issues that you can come across is now the detector head being covered up by a plastic bag. The equipment that's designed to give the early warning not only to the occupant but to other occupants of the block that a fire has been discovered cannot work. Okay, here we have it. Fire door keeps shut. A common sign that you see on lots of doors in all student accommodation blocks. It's imperative that you follow that instruction. This door is there for your safety. Here we have a typical fire point that may be actually provided in your hall of uh, residence. The most important part about this is to understand that these are here for safety reasons. If these extinguishers have been tampered, this small fire now is going to intensify into a large fire and you can now start to lose parts of the block, which could also incur you losing parts of your personal belongings. OK, well that's the tour of a typical student accommodation block where we've just really touched on most of the common fire hazards that you can come across and what we can do to prevent those turning into either actual fires or unwanted signals. So all we ask now is that you apply common sense and then that keeps you safe and us happy. So remember, never leave cooking unattended. Do not wedge fire doors open, they must be kept shut. Never tamper with smoke detectors or firefighting equipment. Ensure you know your evacuation route and assembly point. Banned items at your university include chip pans or the use of oils in saucepans, deep fat fryers, heaters, electric blankets, candles or incense sticks, incandescent burners, inside barbecue trays, additional or extra refrigerators, fairy lights, fireworks, additional microwaves, additional furniture. No cube adapters or trailing sockets. No cooking appliances in bedrooms. 
Be careful, aerosols, hair dryers, hair straighteners and other powdered products can set off smoke detectors in bedrooms. Careful use will prevent unwanted fire activations, UFA. Within two minutes, the whole of this area has been ignited and the cloud of smoke has got to the ceiling level, gone across and then come back down again. All this lot here, as we know, can be replaced, but you can't be replaced. <laughs>